We're live. We've got some fights this weekend. Mainly one fight, the main event, five rounds, world weight division. Balau, remember the name, Muhammad, Leon Rocky Edwards. Good fight, good matchup. Give us your thoughts. You got any stats for us, facts, figures, anything you know fun coming into this one? That's you know Come I've got me. some stats. Come at me. Come right. at me. So first of all, I'll start off by saying I'm very excited for this fight. Very excited like this fight. by Balau Mahat. Allow Muhammad as well. So remember the off, name. Remember the name. I, I <laughs> did say before name, we right? jumped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what a it. shit! What a <laughs> shit name to have in the middle. Doesn't yeah. even work. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even work. Right. Anyway, Balau Muhammad. <laughs> remember the name. Come on. Remember the name. That's why it's there, mate. Honestly, it's confusion. Yeah. He knows. Right, so firstly, I am excited about this fight, but let's actually have a look at a few head head stats and then we'll get into we'll get into the crux of the let's get it conversation. So we've got Edwards, who's obviously had a little little break. His last fight was in July 2019. As we were just sort of speaking before, it wasn't necessarily a self-inflicted break, it wasn't an injury, it wasn't a just mm. wasn't a timeout because of whatever. Just been a bit unfortunate how things have sort of fell into place, but he is currently sitting at a very impressive 18 and 3 professional record in the UFC. Eight Stats. fight win streak, which is hugely impressive, as we know, and one of the longest running win streaks actually in the UFC at the moment. Mm. And noticeably, in his lot in his eight fight win streak, you've got names in there like RDA that we just spoke about, Cerrone. And Nelson, Big. who also has a very cool name, Gunnar Nelson. That's just Gunnar. Cool. Yeah. And then opposing to that, we have remember the name Belal Mohammed, which is quite interesting because he's got the exact same record, which is eighteen and three as well. Very evenly matched. Very very evenly matched. And I'll take us on the, he- the actual head to head stats in a second. But what what I found quite interesting and it paints a little picture of what you've got on your hands in this fight, Belal Mohammed. Has four KOs, one submission, and 13 decisions. So 74% of his fights have gone the distance, which is quite interesting. Now, when we have a look at them side to side, we'll start with Leon Edwards. So again, this is the career statistics within the UFC. So we've got strikes landed per minute at 2.53, a striking accuracy of 47%. Strikes absorbed per minute is just over two. Strike defense, 55%. Takedown average, which is per 15 minutes, is 1.39. Takedown accuracy is 31%. Takedown defense is 70, which is pretty strong. And submission average, which again is per 15 minutes, is 0.4. So instantly, nothing really too alarming there. Nothing that jumped out at me. Nothing too impressive. Nothing too sort of concerning. And then that's with a 74 reach, stand at six foot two. And then we've got Bilal Mohammed on the other hand, who's the shorter fighter, both in height and reach. He's at 5'11 okay. and 72 inches. Like you said, he's quite stocky. So that's a two inch reach disadvantage. And like we were just saying, just before we jumped on the call, and I didn't go through the statistics with you, but have a listen to these with Bilal Mohammed, because I thought these were very, very interesting. Strikes landed per minute, 4.86. Striking accuracy, 43%. Strikes absorbed, 4.03. Striking defence, 60, so higher than uh, Leon Edwards there. Takedown average, higher than Edwards again, with just over two per 15 minutes again, which is pretty impressive. Slightly lower takedown accuracy at 28%. Very impressive takedown defence of 84% and a submission average of 0.2. So when you have a look at them head-to-head, it really paints a picture of what you get what you get when you fight Bilal Mohammed. You get crazy output. Strikes landed per yep. minute, 4.86. Strikes absorbed per minute as well is 4.03. So the output's ridiculous. The he's one of them terrible. fighters. He's one of them fighters that's going to eat a punch to throw a punch. And he's quite happy to do that. And so far, he's been very successful at it. So what I want you to do is give me your thoughts and feelings for this one because I'm excited. Yeah, I am. I actually am. So first and foremost, these boys are coming in in shape. Like if you've seen Leon Edwards right now, he oh. is in shape. And Bilal in his last fight was in shape and he pushed the pace. In terms of Leon, right, I don't know if there's someone out there that's had a worse time than him. He <laughs> has definitely got a chip on his shoulder. He had the thing where he got punched by Masvidal, never really managed to get back. 
people just not putting respect on his name. He had the whole thing where he couldn't get a match up, so he had to come down through a hot prospect, but Hamza Chamayev, who no one really wanted the his sort of notoriety to skill level was ratio was just way off. And then he's had COVID, his opponent had COVID, then his opponent had COVID again. So he's had a bit of a tough time. He's had a long time in the octagon. So I think he's going to, yeah, with a bit of a chip on his shoulder, something to prove, he's going to want to put on a show. He's going to want to fucking people to remember his name, remember my name about remember <laughs> his name. He wants people to put respect on his name. But like you said, record's the exact same. So it's a very, very interesting fight. And when you look at them, you can say one good thing about them. You can say the exact same thing about the other. Like, oh, they're both really good strikers that are really well-rounded and can take the fight anywhere. You can say that about both of them. You can say they've both got tremendous output. I think Edwards is maybe the more dangerous out of the two fighters in terms of his tools that he has, his elbows, his knees, his trips. His wrestling's phenomenal. Like, he came into the UFC as a striker, but... His grappling's now phenomenal. What are your thoughts? Mostly, I'll say, just to combat that, he does have very good wrestling, as we already know. Yeah. But again, Bilal Mohamed's so well-rounded, so well-rounded, with a takedown defence of 84%, which is very impressive. And it's not to say that he's just complete defence. And it's not like a statistic where you'll see Izzy's takedown average is zero and then takedown defence was 86. Nothing like that. It's not lopsided whatsoever. Per 15 minutes, he gets takes on two takedowns, which is very high. You don't often see it that high. But I think the thing you're going to see with Bilal Mohammed, and he reminds me of someone like a Max Holloway. The output, the Volume. pace that he can press is ridiculous. And we saw that in his last fight, right? We saw the pace and the pressure that he put on for the entire fight. And it can just be overwhelming. But what we have in Leon Edwards, and it's like what you just alluded to, Again, every strength that he has, he has. There doesn't seem to be any glaring... Very even matchup. Very exactly. Even matchup. Doesn't seem to be any glaring uh, discrepancies within their sort of skill sets. The one thing that you sort of said, which is always a factor when Leon Edwards fights, and I've just finished watching his uh, most recent fight with RDA, is his elbows. My goodness. Elbows. Absolute elbows. He throws them like he throws a jab, mate. Honestly, he throws them that yeah. frequently and they always seem to find a home. He throws them on he finds the, a home. He finds he finds them on the break. He finds them just coming in. Honestly, he slips them everywhere up against the cage. Like honestly, the output, the elbow is an absolute joke. But yeah. like we said, I honestly can see Blau Mohammed having to eat a few of his eat a few of them just because of the sort of style that he comes into that with. But as we know by now, he's got one hell of a chin. And I would be, if I'm going to have to put a prediction out there for it, I'm going to have to say that I sort of see this playing out as a, just how it looks on paper. Extremely so, even. I think it's just going to be an incredible yeah. fight. I think it's going to be one of them ones we can sit yeah, back really and, do. and just watch a very, very good five rounds. Of, and again, if ever we want a sort of, five round fight it's going to be with fighters like this because we both know the gas tanks that they have even just the statistics that I gave you from Bilal Mohammed, he's got 13 decisions out of 18 wins 13 that's 74 you know, it's smart from Bilal as well easy go for it smart it's smart from Bilal because he's just come off that fight against um Diego Lima one yeah, of the yeah, Lima's yeah. right the one that's in the UFC and incredible. his cardio looked phenomenal and that fight was what three four weeks ago so he's still oh. got that cardio boost he's, yeah still got that cardio boost that he would have got from that camp you know but he's he, he his his cardio is still there he's he's peaking at the right time so it, it, there is a question mark of how's he going to do in a five round fight but who knows i was going to say you're you're very right i think the question mark always over a fighter that's never been in a five round fight is how is he going to do in a five round fight but i honestly think the level of output we've seen, the level of output that he's been able to sustain as well, not just keep up in the first round, second round, but he's finished the fight as quick as he started it. And someone that's gone the distance 13 times and someone that's just coming off an impressive three round fight as well, I just can't see him faltering at that hurdle of not having enough stamina. And 
we often see, like you mentioned earlier, we often see fighters like him who are in incredible shape, by the way. He is in good, good nick. And we often see people that maybe lean more towards that muscular physique often can die out in later rounds. But we've not seen that from him. We've not seen that from him as of yet. So I am positively very excited for this fight. Very excited for this fight. Might. So saying that, I'm going to want two things from you. Talk to me. Five things. What, Five. who, when, where, and why. Don't know why, but just uh, right in, predictions. Why is, why is because they're in, they're in a cage and someone's got to win. <laughs> so, so that's the why. Running out of W's. Um, <laughs> that made sense. Yeah. Someone's getting a W. Um, I'd say that I would want to always back the Brit. I want him to fly that flag for us. And I do think that he is maybe more of a dangerous fighter than Bilal. So I think that Edwards will push the pace for five rounds and edge out a decision. But I do think it will be a close fight. Their records are the exact same. They're very evenly matched. But I think we've got a war, a five-round war on our hands. What are your thoughts? It's annoying because... I shouldn't have let you go first because I hate it. Often I agree with you and then I think I'm making the same prediction. I've got to make something different. But if I just I was... put it so poetically, you can't help but agree. <laughs> That's I'd... the problem. I was thinking Balao knockout. You said that and I was like, yeah. oh, yeah, no, yeah, I fancy that. Me. Me. <laughs> Honestly, the way I see it playing out is, is very similar. I see it being a complete toe-to-toe for five rounds. The only slight edge I see is Leon Edwards being a slightly more technical fighter. I just feel like a couple of shots are going to find a sweeter home, maybe. Not to sleep on the output of, of Bilal at all. I just think he's going to slightly outmaneuver him in those later rounds. That's what I feel. Leon Edwards is going to slightly come alive in those, that four and fifth. And I feel like his technicality and those elbows are going to play a big part in the, in the later rounds. But... And I would have put a decision to Leon Edwards. And again, for the yeah. similar reasons for you, you've always got to, you've always got to back that Brit, especially in the UFC. So, but, but I don't want to but. go with you. So I'm going to have to throw something else out there. I'm going to say Bilal Mohammed takes it all five rounds for the 14th decision of his career. I think we're honestly just going to see a sort of Holloway-esque performance. I think that he's going to just push a crazy pressure. He wants any fight he can get. He wants the best fighters he can get. Hungry. He's come off he's hungry. hungry. He's come off an impressive win. I think it's really, it's really looking like he's time to start climbing the ladder and he's getting more and more respect on his name. And I just feel like he's got the bit between his teeth. Saying that, Leon Edwards come off of quite a uh, quite a long time out, and he's not far off. But, but these but, are two but. hungry dogs. These are two hungry dogs. There's one beautiful thing that we both know, and what is that? Me tell you. Shoot, you get it. We're gonna find out. Facts. Love and peace from Casual's Corner.